Every artist and music maker wants to have confidence in their sound. They want to know when they present their work to the world, it'll be heard and understood in the way that they intended so that it could resonate with their audience, reach new fans, and capture the heart of the listener. When it comes to having confidence in your sound, it's a little easier said than done. Because when you try out different pairs of headphones and different pairs of speakers, you quickly realize that they all sound different. So which pair can you trust? Which pair is correct? These are all questions that myself and you've probably asked along your journey as a music creator. And today, I'm taking a closer look at one of the best solutions, and that's Sound ID Reference by Sonarworks. This is a very unique product that combines a measurement microphone with some very powerful software that can calibrate and control the sound of any pair of speakers or headphones. When you open the microphone, you'll find a pamphlet of software installation instructions to activate your computer. The Sound ID Reference app runs seamlessly in the background, behind your favorite DAW, or any app that you use to create music. There's two primary uses for Sonarworks Sound ID Reference. The first is correcting your headphones, and the second is correcting your studio monitors. Let's explore some of the headphone profiles first. This is where we can open any profile from any headphones from just about any company you can think of. So I'm gonna put these presets to the test and try them out with my three most popular pair of headphones that I have here in the studio. And if you have the same ones, I encourage you to put them on and listen along. I heard a huge difference in every pair of headphones. Sound ID reference really helped them all sound flat, with the same even frequency response. This is really important because you can produce, record, and mix with no extra hype in your headphones, resulting in mixes that will seamlessly translate through any device. So this is my favorite way to use Sound ID reference, but like I said, we can also use it to correct the speakers in the studio. So let's go through that process now. To create a new speaker profile, you simply add a new preset and create new. This loads up your Sound ID reference measuring app. This is where all the real magic happens. Connect your mic to your interface and follow the on-screen instructions to measure your speakers. Measurements in progress. This step can take a few minutes to record the on-screen speaker zones. Left speaker done. Just follow the directions to measure your sound from different angles. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Right speaker done. This helps the software understand what you're hearing when you're sitting in your chair and also where those sweet spots or dead spots might be in your room. And once the measuring's complete, you're now ready to hear the EQ calibration of your room. I know you can't hear the exact sound of my speakers in my room, but what I heard was a much tighter frequency response. It felt like a new pair of speakers, and it took me a while to get used to, but when I turned it off, it became harder to hear the details and balance of my mix. No matter what speakers or headphones you use, Sound ID Reference will be an essential part of your mixing toolkit. 
Having full confidence in what you're hearing is the first most important step in making decisions in your production and your mixing. If you want to say goodbye to sound coloration in your headphones or studio monitors, I'll include a link in the video description below for you to learn more about Sound ID Reference from Sonarworks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in another video.